Hello everyone, welcome back to the Paintology channel. I have been a traditional artist for some time, but have recently jumped into the digital bandwagon. And you may have seen some of my drawings with the Paintology drawing apps. It's an excellent tool for traditional artists who like drawing with charcoal, pencils and other mediums. You can see here some of the drawings that I already made with the app. Today, we're going to be using this wonderful tablet, the Huawei MediaPad M5 Lite which I found to be excellent for my drawing needs. It doesn't come with a pen and you need to buy this separately and I highly recommend that you use this if you like drawing and want to improve your drawing techniques and skills. I will first start demoing the Paintology app followed by the popular IBIS and a new app called C Sketches. All have their own abilities and it really depends on what you're looking for. For an all-rounder I would recommend Paintology. The illustration, animations, Ibis is a good bet. And for watercolors, you can check out Teosui. My preference for the Paintology app is because it has a very intuitive drawing interface that makes it very easy for any level of artist from beginner to advanced to become quite comfortable with it. Let's go ahead and show you the various apps along with drawings done through each, starting with Paintology. The Paintology app has easy to navigate screens and as soon as you go onto the home page you are presented with various sections of the app. We have the video tutorials which are designed to increase your drawing techniques and skills as well as appreciate color tones, form and design. It has been organized into a different level such as absolute beginners all the way to intermediate and advanced. The big advantage of this section is that it is coupled to a video so you can toggle back and forth between the instructional video and your drawing canvas while you are learning. It's an extremely fast way for you to learn quickly on the digital medium. As you progress with this app, you will be making creative drawings like nothing before and you can post this on the community section of the app where there are thousands of other Paintology users. You can upload, share, like, comment and even chat just like any of the other popular social platforms. The draw feature has what is called a blank, overlay, trace and camera. The blank just means you, you can have a blank drawing canvas to draw. Whereas the overlay imports an image of your choice and draws directly over it. In the trace mode, the imported image stays behind your drawing canvas, which you can access through a sliding bar. There have been many drawings that I have demonstrated using this mode of drawing and is an excellent way to rapidly improve your painting and drawing skills. The camera drawing mode works well when you are on a phone where you can take a camera snap of someone and start making a drawing of them in the overlay or traced mode. Of course, you can use it for many other types of drawings. Here is the main drawing canvas where everything has been designed to be right on your fingertips. We're now going to take a look at Ibis Paint. The app has been around for a while and is always consistently ranked at the top due to its um, many features and functions and it's ideal for people who are into illustrations and it's got a huge community for people who like to draw anime. So here what we have is the new canvas that we're going to pick and it allows various selections of the canvas size that you can actually draw on and that's based on your device resolution so you have to keep that in mind. So here it defaults to a brush and at the bottom I have the size and the opacity that I can adjust. The color palette, again, it's accessible, but uh, you need a um, few clicks uh, to get to it, two clicks, as opposed to Paintology, which has the color palette right on your canvas. So when you're drawing a, a complex drawing, 
you will know that it's, it's a question of minimizing the brush strokes. And when you have something right at your fingertips, the uh, having a color palette just within your fingertips is actually saves you a lot of clicks. So I'm just going through various tools here. As you can see, I've used the blur function and the smudge feature that to see its effect on the actual drawing. And then you have another one which is the Liquify pen as you can see here. So I'm not sure when uh, artists would use this kind of uh, capability. I guess it would be very good for doing abstract type of drawings. But in the real drawing sense, you know, you'd want to see everything as it is and just apply what you have onto the canvas. So we have a selection tool here and that picks out elements of the uh, drawing and then I believe you can copy and paste it. So again this would be great for anime drawing. So you can see that uh, when I've selected the, the uh, premium brush uh, you need to go through a video which is uh, found in most most apps, you'll find that. So, so plenty of brushes. I'm not completely convinced why you need all these brushes and it would be interesting to find out how many people actually use those brushes and to what effect. I've had a question with another person regarding layering and I found that layering is actually quite important in um, for graphics illustrations but when you're drawing you can you you effectively do the layering yourself you are trying to create a drawing enhancer and adding to it just like traditional drawing right you don't have layers do you unless you use something that people have used which is an epoxy hardener that you apply and then continue on to the painting at the next level. This is usually done in oils, but it's very rarely, rarely done. Most drawings are done and paintings in the traditional sense are draw, drawn, done in one sitting. So here you see they have a nice tool which is just below at the base on the left, which you can alternate between the pen and the eraser. Personally, <clears throat> I'm not a big fan of the eraser because it's uh, it's like drawing on uh, you know pencil and rubbing it out and pencil. You'll find that most artists who become really competent don't really use uh, rubber in that sense. In fact, they would use rubber only when they want to create an effect. So uh, in the in the same token, you do the use the undo feature, which is a way more much better for uh, to the digital drawing as uh, as of as here shown here. So now I'm looking into this saving feature and then it's not very intuitive but it uh, you do save the drawing in the gallery you can see the it's not like shown as thumbnails it's actually large images that are actually opened and closed. I guess you can see the thumbnails when you have so much drawing in place. So here, you know, I'm selecting just a few, few side types of um, resolution size, and you can see this is square, and you can save it as a PNG file. And I'm also testing out the movie feature that it has, so you can play back a movie, meaning you can actually see your drawing materializing as you play back a movie. This is something you will also find in paintology as well. It's it's helpful when you're trying to demonstrate the drawing to other people. Not so much when you're actually doing the drawing. So you can see here the playback allows me to uh, show the different steps I took. If you, know, if you remember the smudging and then the airbrush then the eraser tool.
When you first open Tear Suey Sketches, you'll be taken straight to the drawing canvas. And here you will have two default brush tools already set up. And uh, you can also save and browse your drawings that are in the main gallery, which are the four square boxes on the top. So here I will be just showing you some of the drawings features, the main drawing features. And to the right, as you can see, I have the opacity and the size of the brush. This is typically the norm for most drawing applications. And I've noticed on this uh, particular app, the upper limit of the brush size has increased a little bit. So compared to my previous review, of which I did, and you can find the links below, the app has actually got more of an upper size brush size. Maybe uh, they listen to what I was saying. Perhaps, I'm not sure. But in any case, uh, the, there are quite a few brushes that you can go for, including some premium ones, which I uh, decided not to venture into that. And most of these other brushes allow you to do quite a, man, quite a few things that you couldn't normally do. So here we have the fill tool. This will fill the background of the canvas or a selection that you make on the canvas itself. So you can see here I've picked up the whole background color tool for the uh, canvas. And then we have a cutter so you can effectively cut the portions of the region and then put them somewhere else and copy it. I'm not sure what the purpose of these tools are for. They're probably there for requirements by the previous digital artists who are into digital animation, illustrations, etc. So here you can also add text as I can as I've shown you. But unfortunately the color palette is still limited, which you can see on the left here. Some of the other features include um, patterns, which I noticed is something I haven't seen before. And so I'm not sure what exactly that is, but you can try it out. And you can copy and you have these range of brushes as a shown before for you to try. This one is an airbrush that I have used and with the opacity set to like third, two thirds of the way up. And then let's take a look at the settings and here we have tool size and various other settings. We also have an undo and a redo feature which requires a hand coordination. So perhaps uh, the idea of the developer is to make this app more amenable to uh, people who are going to use their fingers. But um, in actual fact, uh, you know, I have been drawing on the digital medium for two years and there is nothing better than using your own style, especially when you're drawing on a tablet. Even when I'm using on a phone, I actually use a uh, self-made home stylus and I wrap it with um, cloth so I have a better, much better feel to it when I'm drawing. So here you can save and open the uh, particular drawing. So you have another area where you can actually select the paper type. I, I didn't go into too much detail on that, but you can uh, give it a try for yourself. You will see a drawing that I did recently with this app here. So until we meet again, thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe or give me a thumbs up. That would really support my ongoing efforts in bringing you more of these videos. Thank you. Bye bye.